the Niger Delta region is going to commence another protest that will end up shutting down the entire Niger Delta. Hands up! Yeah. Yeah. Hands up. Yeah. Because yeah. we cannot bear it anymore. Cost of living, inflation in the riverine areas as we speak is above 200%. Our people are suffering. As we speak, all the NNBC flu stations that are in our creeks, no one is functioning. They don't even take fuel to those areas. As we speak, a liter of fuel in our communities is over 2,000 naira. It is the responsibility of government to give us a neighboring environment where business will thrive. The private sector in every normal society is the driver of economy and employment. But today, the Nigerian policies are to kill private investors. The public-private partnership that we believe that will create job opportunities for our youth, they have decided not to put yeah. it. And we cannot fold our hand at this point in time to see that people undermine the democracy that our forefathers fought for. As a Niger Delta youth, our challenges are peculiar to us. We are using this nationwide process to register our displeasure. Some of our challenges as a people is that the oil and gas environment that we found ourselves, the pollution is on us. Today is the first day of the end bad governance protest. IYC as a council that represents the Asian youth globally is here to register our displeasure. It is on record that Nigeria governance has caused a lot of problem for the masses. People we have given the mandate to go and manage our common resources have decided to impoverish us with our own resources. They have decided to give us wrong policies that will on daily basis impoverish us. As we speak, it is a known fact that Cost of living does not have boundary. Bad government has given us sleepless nights. As we speak, in our own state, by state in particular, we cannot even boast of three hours light a day. And we are paying for light bill. We are begging the federal government, which is in charge of policy making, that we want true federalism as a people. The unemployment rates in our communities are alarming. Youth have graduated from the universities. So many youth have given, given, gotten um, good training um, skills, but nowhere to absorb them. All they have to tell us is that we have to look for a way out. But government needs to give us the enabling environment. It is the responsibility of government to give us a neighboring environment where business will thrive. The private sector in every normal society is the driver of economy and employment. But today, the Nigerian policies are to kill private investors. The public-private partnership that we believe that will create job opportunities for our youth, they have decided not to put here an attention. IYC as an organization have said enough is enough. As a people, we are not comfortable with the current cost of living. The high level of inflation that is affecting our communities is unbecoming. Our people cannot, because of cost of living, afford quality health care for themselves. Because for you to go to the health sector to get, your, get, get yourself proper health care, that means you have to sacrifice your daily mail. And that is unbecoming. The death rate is alarming. We are calling on the federal government that enough is enough. Yeah. Yeah. Bringing policies that are going to be people friendly. The Niger Delta is the oil and gas industrial hub. As we speak, Bayasa State is the state that has the highest number of gas reserve. But we can't even boast of a turbine that is working. All we are saying is that the federal government should give us true federalism as a people. That will make Nigeria work so that we can hold our governors accountable for any fund, any mismanagement of funds. 
Through federalism is the only way where federal government will be collecting tax. Why state government generates their revenues and pay tax to the center? Yeah. 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 We need a part-time legislative system. The money that the legislators are taking is unbecoming. Cost of governance is one of our problems. Corruption is one of our problems. All we want is true governance that will give the people the dividends of democracy. Yes. This democracy, our forefathers fought for it. And we cannot fold our hand at this point in time to see that people undermine the democracy that our forefathers fought for. As a Niger Delta youth, our challenges are peculiar to us. We are using this nationwide process to register our displeasure. Some of our challenges as a people is that the oil and gas environment that we found ourselves, the pollution is unalarming. The organic cleanup have started. We want the organic cleanup to be implemented in every other part of the Niger Delta, especially the oil extraction. We want true federalism. We want the, N the NDDC to be removed from the Treasury single account so that the NDDC can carry out signature projects for us. We want the federal government to look into the amnesty program. Since the existence of the amnesty program, the yellow budget has been 65 billion. And the cost of living, the inflation rate has increased. Today, the federal government has looked into the minimum wage issue. You should also look into the amnesty budget so that our people can at least, those that have decided to accept the amnesty, can feed their family with comfort. We don't want the Niger Delta to get into another form of crisis. All what we want is sincerity from the government. We want the federal government to look into these our peculiar challenges so that we will have a normal working system. The NNPC and the Petroleum Ministry have failed us as a result of poor policies. Nigeria government is playing politics with the life and the living condition of our people. You have removed subsidy. Today our refineries are not still working. How do you want the petroleum price to come down? Petrol price cannot come down in as much as we are importing all these things. We have three states, governments, one refineries. They promise us that before the end of first quarter of 2024, these refineries are going to work. But all we see is that it's lie upon lie, one lie after the other. Those within the corridor of power are too comfortable, and the masses cannot endure it anymore. We are sounding it very clear that after this 10 days warning strike, we are giving the federal government 90 days. In that 90 days, if some things that we are agitating for is not put into consideration, the Niger Delta region is going to commence another protest that will end up shutting down the entire Niger Delta. Hands up! Yeah. Yeah. Hands up. Yeah. Because yeah. we cannot bear it anymore. Cost of living, inflation in the riverine areas as we speak is above 200%. Our people are suffering. As we speak, all the NNPC flow stations that are in our creeks, no one is functioning. They don't even take fuel to those areas. As we speak, a litre of fuel in our communities is over 2,000 naira. Our people are suffering and we are saying that enough is enough. Let government go into what is called good governance that will put the people that gave them the mandate, the dividends of democracy. They have to put the people in priority. Thank you and God bless you. you. And we are going to mount this protest till the 10 days. And after these 10 days, we are going to give the federal government 90 days. If some of these are complaints are not looked into, believe you me, the Niger Delta region is going to start another serious protest that will make sure that we shut down everywhere in the Niger Delta. Enough is enough.